My name is Keon Williams and I love J. Ross TV. What's up, y'all? This your boy J. Ross in downtown St. Louis, hanging out with my boy K. Dub in town, y'all. Y'all know these sax phenom, y'all, from New York. But we got him in the loo. He taking care of some business. But right now, we just want to get a little information from him and uh, see what he got going on. What's up with you, Kate? Yo, man, I'm doing it, brother. I'm doing it. Now, what, doing hey, it. what they got you doing here in the loo, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I'm working some business out with some sax company and um, also trying out some new saxophones, make sure that I have what I need for uh, my next tour and my new CD that's going to be coming out soon. So, oh, yeah? Yeah. You yeah. got a name for it, yeah? Yeah, it's going to be called It's All About You. This is all for my, my, my fans here. That's what I'm doing. So. Oh, so All About You is, is, is dedicated to in that fans. sense, yeah. yeah. Well, how long you been saxing, man? Man, I've been doing this for over 35 years, and um, I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. Well, who, who got you off into the game? Anybody in particular that you heard or you just like the instrument? Yeah, I, you know, I, I, my mother was a big jazz fan. Um, I was listening to jazz ever since I was high. Yeah. And um, it was just something I heard a lot of Grover. I heard a lot of Cannonball Adderley. I heard just, you know, all the greats, Coltrane. So it, it just made sense. Yeah, once again, y'all, uh, Keon Williams, we in uh, downtown St. Louis in front of the, uh, well, we had four seasons, y'all, just hanging out. And uh, But let me ask you this, though, now, like, uh, a lot of people don't understand when it comes to making a CD, the dedication that goes into it. Mm -hmm. what, what's some of the sacrifices you have to make in order to get it the way you want it? Well, um, it takes a lot of time. You know, you have to write the songs, you got to produce them, you got to get them all together. Um, you got to get the musicians together. Of course, there's a financial cost to all of this. And um, actually, once you have the CD done, then you have to like put it out there, you have to promote it. And, and basically, you got to listen to people criticize what you've been doing. Right, right. You know, so it's a little tough and we can't be thin skinned in this game. And, you know, I, I take both constructive criticism and praises. Yeah. So, and, you know, my thing is God keeps me focused. And, you know, and I just don't see how you can lose when you have that kind of. Oh yeah, once again, y'all got a lot of background ambient noise, but that's how we do it up on J. Ross, y'all, 10 oh, yeah. million strong. Oh yeah. And uh, we in downtown St. Louis just hanging out a beautiful Thursday night. And uh, so, but like, all right, say you was, uh, had a classroom full of kids and they wanted to be sax players, what would be some of the uh, vital information that they would need in order to achieve that goal? Well, you know, for any instrument, anything you want to do in life, you have to stay focused. Um, you got to commit your time to it. You got to practice. Yeah. Um, and you just you just have to, you know, listen to people and do it with the people that you idolize uh -huh. are doing. You know, and just keep positivity in your life. Yeah. Don't let somebody tell you that you can't do it. Stay focused, and it's it's all achievable. So, so like now, the songs you come up with uh, are some of them like. Uh, inspir they inspirational, of course. They come from you, or you you see something and, and get uh, inspiration from that. Like you might see a tree and write a song. You know, it's, it's funny you ask that because um, most of the time I get my songs in my dreams. Um, I'll have a dream. I'm at a concert. Yeah. And I'll hear a song and I'll wake up and I'll write it. I'll have a dream. I'm in the car driving and a song comes on the radio. Yeah. And I hear it and I write it. Um, Ninety percent of what I hear, um, what I come up with. I, I dream about it, and then I just, I just make it happen. So. But yeah. I can't fall back to sleep. See, that's the secret. <laughs> <laughs> I fall back to sleep. It's gone. It's gone. Hey, so. now any particular uh, saxophone? What's what's your favorite, um, and why? You know, I have two favorites. I really love the soprano, and I think the soprano, personally for me, is my favorite because it was the hardest for me to achieve a good sound on. Uh -huh. um, and it also keeps me together on all the other instruments, yeah. on, you know, all my other saxophones. I love tenor too because it's, um, it's. I'm a big guy, so you know, it fits well. It, 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 it gels right with my tone, my voice, my tonal quality, and um, I get to do a lot of expression on the tenor sax. So I, it's, it's tied between those two. Now, now you. Uh you six, what, six, seven, eight endorsements. Now, do you find it to be beneficial as a musician? Um, yes, I do. Um, for me, because I get to learn the business end of, of with, with music business. There's, there's two words to that. Right. Um, and yeah, the music is what I love, but the biz, it is a business. And it keeps me focused on doing the business end. So I, I like, I, I'm, I'm dedicated to the companies that I endorse. I, um, 
do a lot of work for the companies that I'm doing, and I learn a lot. So it, it works for me. It's not about just getting free free stuff or things that are discounted. It's really about learning the business needs. Hey, y'all, that's Ken Williams, y'all. We in downtown St. Louis. J. Ross TV, 10 million strong. We're going to let them bounce up out of here, y'all. We out. Peace. Peace. Deuces.